Plantius, an American software company that has been around since the year 2003. The same year Tesla was incorporated. It specializes in big data analytics and has three core platforms to cater for different verticals, mainly Plantius Gotham, Foundry and Apollo. Breakdown of Palantir's business globally and of this, 52% of the revenue came from the United States, the UK 12%, France 9% and the remaining 27% from the rest of the world. Palantir have a revenue of 1.1 billion in year 2020 and 56 of the revenue came from customers from the government sector and 44% from customers in the commercial segment. Have you ever tried squashing ants with your fingers? Try that on this button, the feeling's Great. Since Palantir IPO, we see it smashing records after records. Is that all? Let's crunch some big data for Q1, 2, and 3 for 2021 for Palantir. We see positive operating cash flow. It's like God of Fortune shining upon us. In Q1, 2021, revenue grew by 49% year over year, generating 341 million in revenue across government and commercial segments. Government business increased by 76% year on year, and commercial business increased 19% year over year. For your information, Palantir only has 120 five customers as of the end of first half year 2020 and in Q1 2021 they have added 11 new commercial customers. You must understand Palantir's customers profile in the commercial segments are customers who are able to pay seven, eight or even nine figures on software and their contracts usually run for years. Q2 revenue grew 49% again year over year with government revenue growing by 66% and commercial revenue growing by 28% and they have added 20 net new customers customers in Q2 alone. For those who are familiar with sales who know new customers are just like girlfriends, you pay more when you're courting them and start to pay less when they get pregnant and you start paying for other girlfriends while the wife washes her dishes. If this sounds familiar, smash the like button and make sure your wife is not watching this. Q3 revenue grew by 36% year on year and government revenue increased by 34% and Q3 commercial revenue grew by 37% and they added 34 new customers in Q3. Palantir's management had given a guidance of long-term revenue growth of 30 plus percent for this year and the next couple of years, which I believe as Palantir's customers are doing enterprise solutions, which is very hard for them to change due to human resistance to change and the fear of the unknown. It also doesn't make sense to dump millions of dollars which they have invested in Palantir's solutions into the drain. Now we can see that they have hired a lot of sales personnel to grow the business and we should continue to see good growth for the next couple of years. Let's take a look at Palantir's competitors and do a quick comparison and analysis. This is a quick chart showing some of the Palantir's main competitors each have their own unique solutions, strength and weakness but one of Palantir's stronger advantage over its competitors is the customer's base. The government can spend, will spend and must spend as it's critical in manufacturers and areas especially from the perspective of security. Just this alone is able to command a premium and win over large corporates over its competitors. Now let's do a quick technical analysis and valuation. Right now we're looking at the chart for Palantir Technologies. This is over five days volume. This is not so bad because it has sort of like stabilized with people starting to buy in people meaning institute or whales or even ETFs after the sell here. So they have changed hand. Now we take a look at the main chart which I drew this Fibonacci already based on 200% at $45. It has sort of like stabilized. It is roughly around $21. The next level of support is $19. $0.80 to that of course going to $17.69 is the next point of support. For Bollinger Band we can see that it is a bulge right now and it is closing off to a squeeze. It will take some time over here you can see the bulge is turning down and then the bottom bulge probably will go up pretty soon which also means that it will be sideways for a while plus minus $2 of movement. Hopefully it hovers above or even go way above this line for Fibonacci here and of course this particular trend line is taken from the start here angle and going up 
based on the weekly chart, we can see that it has reached the bottom of the Bollinger Band and should be poised to go up. Because if it doesn't, it will look it will be very bad. We'll probably go up, go down to even like um, the next line of support will be seventeen dollars, and then after that, probably at thirteen or fourteen dollars. Okay, sorry for taking over more than five minutes. I'm trying my best here. Now this is for Plantier. These numbers are I plucked in from the current financial statements. Okay, for the operating cash flow currently is around two hundred eighty-eight million dollars USD, and the total debt is about two hundred forty-nine million dollars. The cash equivalent is about two point four billion okay this is the cash growth rate why i put 150 percent here is based on 4 billion on the 30 percent margin this is provided by their management the guidance or uh, by 2025 they estimated to be at 4 billion if the margin sticks on to 30 percent margin we could actually see more than 150 percent cash flow growth rate but i'm limiting it to 150 percent because otherwise uh it's it's not so realistic okay for the for the fifth year 50 percent and then after that, tapering down to 30%. Number of outstanding shares, 1.964 billion. This is the uh, cash flow in 10 years PV. Let's take a look at here. Okay, this is the final intrinsic calculation that I've done here. Based on what I've calculated and based on the discount rate of the present value of 6%, we could safely say that the final intrinsic value could probably be around close to $50. So is it a good buy now based on the current price? Yes, $20. So it's selling at a discount. I believe within the next quarter or the next two quarters, we could see some exponential growth in terms of valuation. Let's see how this goes.